And just like that, we are in Italy. Yay. Yay! Just a little bit south of a town called Alba, which is uh, close to Turin, in like the northwestern area of Italy. Lots of rolling hills, a lot of vineyards in the area, a lot of amazing wines get made here. They produce the Barolo wines here. If you've never had a Barolo, check it out. They're yeah. very good. Amazing. So we're just leaving our little Airbnb that we have over there. And we're walking over to one of the small local ones that is from the Airbnb area. Local vineyard. Local vineyards, exactly. Uh, going for a little tasting at 10.30 in the morning. And then in the afternoon, we have another one lined up. And then after that, we're just gonna do dinner over at the Airbnb, grab some bites, drink some of the wines that we bought and just enjoy the views. We just finished an amazing wine tasting at uh, Gigi Rosso. Amazing place. We had a really, really good uh, what sommelier. It? sommelier. We had an amazing sommelier who was uh, helped us walk us through the entire uh, vineyard itself, the downstairs area where they do all of the barreling and you know, where they store all the wines and everything. And then after that, we went up to the tasting room and tasted uh, seven. seven amazing wines. Highly recommend to check that place out. Yeah. Uh, what we're doing now is we're gonna walk over about a five minute walk down the street. We're gonna pick up some bicycles, some e-bikes that we can rent for the day. And then we're gonna go to the grocery store, chill, and then use those bikes to go to our next tasting. to rent some electronic bikes which you see right there most amazing thing ever you can just pump it up from like eco mode to tour mode to sport mode to turbo mode so that you get just a little bit of extra help from the electronic battery to get your way up of all these steep hills that we have here in Italy and what's fun is we get to like bike around from vineyard to vineyard and we're going around and we're doing a couple tastings here and there and one awesome thing about being here in September is the fact that it is right before harvesting season. So what you also see is that a lot of these vineyards and all of these yeah, stretches of all of these vines are filled with perfect, ready to be um, harvested, fully ripe grapes. So the Barola region itself is not too big. It consists of about 11 cantons, I believe, a little small little village areas. In order to be considered uh, a Barola wine, you need to grow it within the region. And you also need to uh, use a specific type of grape. And all of the Barola wines are essentially grown out here in this beautiful landscape that you see behind me. I love it. It looks so amazing.
I mean, seriously. What do you say? Amazing. Wow. Wow. and saving the best for last. Today, we are going to walk outside of our Villa Gremi b, &B <laughs> and we're going to walk over to that vineyard over there. So uh, when we were here four years ago with uh, the rest of my family, my parents and my sister and her husband, we went over to that side of the family and sat on their terrace and uh, just chatted. It's a really small local vineyard. They don't really export much at all. Uh, they don't speak much English at all either. They don't speak English. <laughs> True. <laughs> they speak maybe like uh, two figures of English words. So as much as our Italian. Yes. Uh, but they're a lovely family. So we decided Super to book sweet. with them again and uh, just go see what it's like, how it's been for them for the past four years. With a lot of Google Translate. <laughs> yep. So that's where we're off to today for our final day here in the Barolo region. Yeah. 